we're filming. Today's goal is not to let the smoker go out because the smoker is used to help calm the bees down. You get that there, cut? Mm -hmm. Today we're doing an inspection to see if the brooder box is full and will we be needing to install another brooder box or a super. So, give her one more little puff. This helps calm the bees down. We're going to take the top off for an inspection. And you can tell the smoke has worked because now the bees are down towards the bottom. And I can tell you it's full because they've already glued the lid on. So I get to use my favorite J-tool. When you take this off, your best bet is to put it towards the front so that the bees can come back in. New frame, new frame, new frame. I can already tell you that it's full because there's bees all over. Let's see what one of these new ones looks like. You need to be real careful because you don't want to damage any of the bees. Use your J hook underneath. And you can see they're still working on building brood because there's nothing on this frame yet. Very, very careful when you lay them down so you don't hit any of them. This was the frame the queen was on last time. I would like to pull a full frame. You can see how that calmed them right now. That is a full brood frame. You can see the brown. That's where they've capped off for the new bees. And the brown on that side. They're doing a wonderful job being good bees. And you'll notice I was very careful to put that in not damage any of them. I do not think we need a new rack yet. Because when I look at one of my new frames like this and I have no brood coming on, they still need to build. Now my desire is to swing at the bees as they're starting to fly around me, but I'm learning better. Can you hear the sound of those bees, Mr. Mitch? I sure can. They're quite loud. They are happy today. And why are they happy? Because the colony is growing. Now, I've seen them do that before. That's the first time I ever tapped her down hard like that, and I don't like doing that. The top is on. The bees seem very, very happy. And why do we have this strap? We have this strap to help keep raccoons from knocking over our bee house. Thank you very much for the good inspection. 
last thing we want to look for, we saw no beetles up there. We want to look in this bottom tray and see if there's any bugs because this is where we'd be seeing mites. And all I see are three ants. That's not bad. Slide this plastic back in and we're good to go. Thank you, Mr. Mitch. Okay, hold on. All right, Mr. Bosenberg, what are we doing today? Uh, we're putting on a new super. Super. All right. Ponic super. We're putting on a new super. We close them in. Right, Mr. B? Yes, we are. Okay, and I'm getting, I'm getting geared up to All assist. Right. Because I am super excited about these bees. The bees' knees. How do I look, guys? Good. Do I look ready? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Do I look able? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of? Yeah, I need the gloves. Kind of. Oh, oh, I'm just missing the gloves. So I look, I look able, but I'm not quite ready because I need the gloves. Well, and you need the shoes, too, and I'm willing to switch with you. I'm probably the only one who can get away with wearing those. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Lodge, you don't have to put these on until you get out these okay. and the gloves for today. All right. Are you Thanks. baking yet? No, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering what this is going to do to my hair. It's oh, <laughs> fucking good. It's fabulous. All right, let's All right, go. All right, here we go. Woo! All right, let's, let's go. Begin. All the students and staff to stay a safe distance from the beehive. Miss Loitz and I are going to undo the strap inspection and hopefully put on the super. Do you want to stand just again? What is a super? The super is the top part of the beehive where we'll be able to harvest our honey versus the brooder box, which is where the queen does all of her work. Please tell me the stages. First stage, she lays? Egg. Egg. Second stage? Yes. Larva. Larva. Third stage? Pupa. Pupa. Fourth stage? Bees. Adults. Fantastic. Wow. And we should have some new bees in here. Miss Lois, would you please come this way so I, I can will. take I'm your lighter? I will. I'm my last glove on. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. I'm you super excited to be here. To do this. That's the tool you need. Okay, got it. Can anyone tell Miss Lois what the name of this tool is? John knows. What is it, Sean? I don't want it, but we'll say. The J hook. J hook. J for Jamie. No, 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 stay over here. <laughs> J for Jamie. And are you sure it's not a G? What are you doing, Mr. B? Right now, I'm lighting the okay. eye needles so that we can smoke the bees. Oh, we will roast them? Like and have them nope, remain calm no. while we go on the beehive. We will roast them? Jeremy, is that enough heat? Jeremy, is that enough heat? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. That's okay. Uh, Oh, the smoker looks like it's working. Here, Remember? Because the rest is hot. Okay, there's only three of us coming out here other than Mitch because he's the next victim. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to watch the movie here, guys. I'm behind you. Watch the wheelbarrow. I got it. No! Try it! Stop! No, 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 no. Okay, the anchor has been taken off, Sean. Always stand on the side, you know that. You ready with the smoker? Give me two pumps. I'm taking the lid off. I need you to smoke. You lower. They are coming. Okay, Miss Lotz, we will need the J hook to release the lid. Okay. J hook. J hook, easiest. Because, see, they've worked so hard, it's not glued down. Okay. You can use this to pull the frame. Okay. So, should I go all the way around to. Release this? Yep. Yep. You're good. Okay. 
Okay, Sean, this is what I mean by down. Oh, yeah, they're busy. Oh, look now you pretty. can see the girls have started to build comb on top of the lid. Worst thing to do, Sean, is move quickly. Always move nice and slowly. Miss Lowitz, does it look full? It looks very full, Mr. B. Do you want to pull one rack? I would love to. Hook under and under, and let's see what we do. Under? On the edges. On the edge. Let me, let me Show, model. Yep, model. You go right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Huh. We're about a week late. Okay. Go under. Oh, my goodness, boys and girls. Now, you will notice that there is a lot of brood on there. The brood is the brown. The gold color is honey. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Do you see a queen on here, Sean? No. They are working really hard. Sean, will you please go to the wheelbarrow? I need you over there. They're pretty calm today, Miss Lewis. That's great. Well, they're all behind you, though. Usually, I'll pull out three or four racks looking for the queen. Okay. But I think she's busy. Sean, could you please hand me the plastic extruder? Are you listening? This is the queen extruder. The queen cannot fit through any of these slots. So when we put this on here, the worker bees will stay down there working. They'll come up above into our super and start working making honey for us. The queen will always stay down here. Sean, you strong enough? It's heavy. Need help, Sean? Nah, he's strong. Okay. Use the manufactured handles. Yep. Okay. That's okay. You got Just it. Get it from the bottom then, on that side, and then on the handle on this side. All right, come over here, hand it to him there. You've got like 5,000 bees around there. You got your front end? Okay. Please look. This is the super chamber. This is where the bees will be coming up to make honey for us. These will be full of honey in about three weeks. And what we can do in three weeks, we'll be able to look in the inspection window and see the honey production. Right now, I'm going to give them a little privacy. What else are we missing, Sean? The roof. Does it matter which way it goes, Sean? Did you already see one go in there, Miss Jamie? I did. They're very concerned about whatever is happening right here. Seeing if you're not, I saw a guy yesterday in a video pick the queen up by her wing to move her to a different brooder box. Really? Yeah. Now see, this is what you look for. These little bugs, and there's not many of them, yeah. but when you see them, that's okay. Crush them and get rid of them. Okay. I'm the bee queen. She's the bee queen. I, I, that's a great title. Thank you. Or Thank queen you so queen much for coming out, yeah. oh, it's We are not going to tie this down today because my next class is going to come out, set up an extra set of blocks because we have another beehive that was donated that if I work all week, they'll come down. What was my big mistake right there? Did you see how quick I moved my arm? Just go nice and slow. We good, Miss Lowitz? I think so. I think. Last step. Can anybody tell me what I missed doing? Yes. 
Cohen, checking for four letter word starts with an M. Honey. That's a five letter word. Starts with an M. Mm. Mice. Mice. So we pull out oh, our bottom tray. Look at all that pollen on there, Miss Jamie. A, lot of a couple ants right to the edge. Oh, we're just wiping I just wipe it off so I have a clean inspection every week. This, happy. this sits underneath the screen at the bottom okay. so no bugs can get in. If you want to look here. Right in here. Oh, yeah. That's where we trap. And then this is a metal screen. Brooder box. Super. Nope. Nope. Go ahead and smoke the front of it. Ready to be an atheist? Yes. hundred percent. Are we exiting? We are exiting. Thank you so much, Miss Lodge. I want to thank Miss Bishop class for being my favorite B group. And I want to thank Sean for always being here to back me up. Look how busy they are, Miss Lodge. They're really happy about that super, Mr. B. Right? Yes, they are. <laughs> they love it. They got a condo. They moved out of the apartment and into the condo. Good afternoon, everyone. We are going to do another bee inspection and see how our super's doing. All right. Nothing on the top. Nope, it's glued on. You need your J bar. Well, she got it. Oh, good. They are in the new super. And what we'd like to do is place this towards the front. In case if they want to come back in. We now, need Ms. the Jamie, bar. Which rack would you like to pull out to see if they're making honey for us yet? Well, let's go towards the middle, Mr. B. How Fantastic. About this one? I'd like to try that. Okay. So, remind me again, I'm using the hook. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Right? Yep. You're just trying to get it up a little bit. Ooh, they are happy now. I see a few bees, Mr. Mitch, but I don't necessarily see any development in the hive yet. Doesn't look like it, not yet. Just on that. Get in there. Let's see what happens if we open the window, Miss Jamie. Okay. We can see they're working. But they are not making honey up above yet. Pretty incredible today. I think we should leave the window off for the day so the next group of kids can come out and do an observation. Great idea. How courageous you feeling, Jamie? I'm not because the smoker's not doing real good. I'm Most feeling fine. You're feeling fine? What do you want to do? Well, we need to get the of course, I'm in the front of it. you're not. So. Right. You grab that front of it, put it back up in the front. Perfect. Wow. Hi, girl. It's Daddy. Now, that's the queen extruder, excuse me, Mitch. And that way the queen can't get into the upper box, but I can see they've been working. They sure have. I am gonna ask you to help me move this okay. brooder box 
right on top of the 4x4s. Four okay. One, two, three. That's okay. Yeah. Set it right there. You got a hold of that for a balance? Yep. Hi, girls. I know, Daddy's not being so nice today. Now we're going to do a 90 degree turn. Yep. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We're stable. We've got the queen extruder. Now. Question, Mr. B. Yes, ma'am. Is it too wobbly? I think maybe it would be more stable if we do another 90. Did another 90. Okay. Ready? Hi, girls. It's just daddy without smoke today. I think that's much safer. And maybe you can turn this the super the other way so you can see the window on the other side so as we're finding out in our newness here the bees don't mind us so much today even without smoke which is amazing for me The best sign is the bees are using the new super. We just need to wait for more bloom so we can actually get. Oops, I'm sorry. That's my finger. So we can actually get the colony happy. Miss Jamie, I'd like you to lift with your legs, not your back. Okay. We're going to scoot back just a little more so they have a little more entrance room. Just a little. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Another question, Mr. B. Yes, ma'am. Are we going to strap this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to strap this now that we have it on here. And I'm going to get Miss Ashley's hive and put it there. And she'll tell me if we want them going the same direction or opposite. Okay. For everybody. So we are hoping to set up a never, uh, second beehive. Oh, you send it up over there? Okay. You want some help? No, thank you. No, we're good. I don't want you to get bit. Okay. Is it going to work that direction or should you go the other way? It should work that direction. It doesn't fit on the boards the other way. Alright. So we are going to see why they're not bringing anything up into the super. Which is our top box here. I see nothing. They are making it through the queen extruder. Oh my, Mitch, look how full those racks are. Yeah. Look, that second one looks like the biggest one. See, and if you blow the smoke on them, they go right back down in there. That seems rather full. And if you look carefully, you'll see that that is full, and there's actually some honey on that rack. That is the queen there. That's the Whether or not we have a queen in there that we're thinking of. 
They are definitely not happy now. <laughs> oh yes, sir. No step back. <laughs> Mr. B always likes a little extra smoke on these tedious jobs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in an empty frame and see if they will fill another one for us. Last time I pulled the racks, this one here had the queen. I think we're just going to go a little longer today and see if we can get a queen vision. Yep, we've got one is Oh my! Uh oh, Mitch has got the bees on him. There's my queen. She's still on the same rack. I think the bees must have liked Mr. F because he had to run off. But that was a nice shot of the queen. And if you're not going to go up into the super, what we're going to do to change things is we're just going to put the lid back on. Maybe. There we go. Put the lid back on this one. The bees are going in and out. We put a new rack in here and we're going to see if the bees will be nice enough to fill these <laughs> small frames and foundations. I'm hoping they'll move in here. And that is my gift from Miss Ashley, my bee queen. Gotta move it. Came off the box there. Huh? It came off. Fly it up there. Oh, that's because of this. Oh, really? Yep, it's just far enough in that it wants to move it. You gotta be real careful when you put that down. That works. That there looks good. we go. So the bees were nice to Mr. B today. They let me find the queen again. She's doing well. I need to call Miss Ashley and see if maybe we need to do what they call a split. That means we will separate half of these bees out of there, but I need to find a queen. Otherwise, they're not going to stay in the new hive. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. B. Thank you. Introduce you to our first spring attempt at inspecting the bees. A little gentle smoke. Smoke is not doing as good as I want today. I would like to see if we have any action in our super, which is this top part of the bee frame. Oh, Mr. F, we have bees galore in the top frame. Ooh. Now, what's interesting about that, this is where they'll be exclusively making honey for us, and the bottom part's a brooder. And you can see how upset they are because I merely opened up. And I'm not getting near the smoke I need. Catch a view of this window. Yep. In fact, I'm going to grab the lighter and fire that smoker up because it's not giving me enough smoke. And the use of this smoke is beneficial because it helps calm the bees. And I think my problem was I didn't get it started good enough. The smoker. Put a little smoke on yourself and the cameraman. Now look how that did, Mitch. Mm -hmm. That completely cleared it off. I'm hoping I have enough strength to be able to lift this top box.
They are all over, Mitch. There lies the super. And you will see the queen extruders working because all we have are worker bees on top. And from what I'm seeing, I got brood right underneath there. I got honeycomb everywhere. And I've got a busy, busy beehive. A little more smoke. Mitch would like a little more smoke. This direction, please. Now, what I'm going to have to do is pick one of these frames, and I can see this one in the middle is full of honey. I need to get it out, make sure there is no queen on it. It is so heavy, I can barely even lift it. Take that one. Nah. And we are going to put in a new frame so that they can build more. Got one they, guy. They are mad as a bee. You get bit yet, Mitch? About to. Got one guy really mad at me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the viewing's not very good anymore because poor Mitch got covered in smoke and I have to knock all these bees off but I want to look and make sure there's no queen Ooh, that one had pollen all over her man Now you can see I've gotten rid of quite a few bees over there. The thing we want to remember to put back on is the queen extruder because we do not want her in the top. Which is a great sign which lets me know we probably have some honey in our super. Wow, I haven't worked around this many bees, Mitch. Quite a few. Glad I added fire to this smoker. Can I get that top part in? Which I question, maybe I should leave that open so that more bees can get in there. I don't know. Couldn't hurt. But when you put this on, it pretty much covers it because it takes the knobs off. Thank you, Mr. David, for keeping the children away. Now you can see I've got some honeycomb coming right off the top of this. Alright, we are not going to put the strap on until later this afternoon. I know the bees will be able to find their way back from here. See, and some people really, really hit them hard. I don't like to do that. Because they're probably getting a headache right now. Very 
happy with that, man. Pretty thick. You can see honey coming out the back side of that handle. Really? That I touch. Well, I want to thank everybody for participating. And I appreciate you being with us today. Bees, I need you to fill that other frame up. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Oak Park family, I want to share super excitement for Mr. B's Bees. Two days ago, the students and I went out and harvested our first frame so we could taste the honey. On the frame was live brood. We now have baby bees hatching out in room 412. Let's see how I extract the honey off of the brooder frame. Oh my, there's new bees on the brooder frame. If you look closely, Mr. Mitch will show you, here is a hatching baby bee. I think we should extract the honey as soon as possible so we can get these bees back outside. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bees that hatched out last night. Now, I want to finish getting the rest of the honey off the frame. So I'm going to use my favorite tool, the J-hook. I am hoping by doing this to save the brood that's on here and bring it outside near the beehive so number one, the temperature's warmer because remember, these bees are going to try and keep this warm and with the air conditioning in the building, it's not going to work. Look how nicely that worked. Now remember, I'm only in third grade in beekeeping, so I'm a very new beekeeper. This is super exciting. My first time I've ever pulled honey from a frame. Do you think we should do the other side, Mitch? Yes, because we have exciting news on the other side, don't we? Oh my, oh my. Oh, <laughs> Uh, and more bees. And more bees. This, uh, let me get my hand out of the way. This is what the frame looks like before I ever even touched the side. We have new bee, all these hatching out. And oh my, Mitch, can you show them this little corner right by my J hook? This item right here is what you call a queen cell. So we have to do another inspection in the beehive because that means we've raised a second queen. Watch how much honey comes out of that. Ha! Ah, ow! That just makes me so ecstatic, if that's the right word. And I'm going to try and save the queen cup so we can see the difference on how much bigger that is than any of the other cells. So when you do an inspection, that's one of the things you look for is another queen cell. And we were fortunate enough to pull this frame. There were no queen bees on it, and we had a queen cell. Mitch, look who's coming to my finger to be my morning friend. Well, I need to get this guy out of the way here. I don't want him to get stuck in honey here. Whoop. So here is a bee, if you could see it on my finger. It fell off. Okay, let me get him again. I don't want this bee to get full of honey and then drown, and drown basically. As it just did. As there. it just fell. And, and I can't pick it up out of the honey because what I, ah, I had that one almost on my finger. What I want to do is get the rest, look at that, all the way up the top. Now, do you see the different coloration where I went white? Mm -hmm. That's because I cut into the brood, but my J hook is just not small enough to facilitate not getting this. That is a massive amount of honey. We should get at least a full jar out of that. Oh, Mitch, I, I'm doing the happy dance all day long. Now, if you had the proper equipment, which hopefully we can write a grant and get the proper equipment, you would be able, after you get all the bees off and separate the brood, 
he would be able to put this in what we call a centrifugal caster, an extractor, and extract the honey. Now I'm trying to get some of these bees back on a piece of paper so we don't lose them. This frame's going outside and hopefully we will be able to see bees hatching today. Perfect example of fresh brood. All Just right, so beautiful. We're okay. headed outside now. We will catch you out there. Good morning, everyone in Oak Park family. I would like to greet you to the hatching brood from the first frame that we harvested honey from in the classroom. I needed to bring the baby bees out here because as Mr. Mitch will show you, these hatched in the room last night, but they're drowning in honey because they haven't found the hive. Now there is one that's going to come up and drink honey just to get enough energy, but since it's warming up, it'll take off back to the hive. This poor guy can't convince to stand upright. So I'm not sure what his chances are gonna be for survival. Hopefully we'll have some new bees hatching out. I would like to walk over this way and Mitch and I are going to show you the morning calm of the beehive. We have bees entering and exiting the hive this morning. And here is the viewing frame of our super. This is where next time we extract honey, we will be able to take the front of this off as they've trained us and behind there are knobs we can turn and drip the honey out. That's why we spent so much to buy the beautiful flow hive. There was a queen egg on that frame. We need to do another full inspection and I cannot do it with one glove and no outfit. So I'm going to put on an outfit, hopefully get one of the students to come with me in their bee suit, and we are going to pick the queen out and put her in our new beehive. The difference on this beehive is the frame height is only six inches tall versus the frames on that hive are eight and a quarter. And this is where we're going to put the new queen. She'll have four frames and she will be able to start a new colony. Thank you everyone. Looking forward to our next episode. Enjoy the honey. Hello Panther Nation. This is a final entry for Mr. Bees Bees as the school year comes to an end. I want to give a giant shout out to all the students and staff for helping with the inspections and harvesting of the honey. As a team, we have expanded our knowledge of the importance of our pollinator friends, the bees. I have reached out to UF slash IFAS Honey Bee Research and Extension Lab as they are recruiting beekeepers who are interested in leveling up their beekeeping operations from a hobby to a business. The long-term goal of this project is to support and improve the success of new beekeepers by increasing their opportunities to create revenue through the sales of value-added products. I hope we are one of the nine schools in the state of Florida to be invited to take a role in this project. Thank you, thank you to all the people who have helped me reach the third grade level in beekeeping. Without the help of my mentor, Miss Ashley, we would have never gotten off to such a successful start this year. May you all have a wonderful, restful summer. Looking forward to August and another harvest of honey. Thank you again.